Hello folks and welcome to another quick episode. Uh, this week I'm going to be working in Scotland. Uh, I'm currently in Hinckley in Leicestershire and I've got to go to Lucas, which is where I'm staying tonight. Um, ready to do a couple of days work in Falkirk. Uh, I'll just show you uh, the route that I've got. Here uh, you can see I've got uh, 302 miles range or 96%. I think it'll do more than that. but uh, And it's telling me with no charging stops, I'm going to get there with minus 20%. But I am in a Model 3 long range rear wheel drive Highland 2025. Um, I'm not actually going to go this way because I don't want to pay eight quid to go at the toll and the A5 gets quite snarled up. So I'm going to go that way, which is 374 miles. I am absolutely going to have to stop somewhere and charge, although I can charge at my destination in St Andrews. Um, that's guaranteed. Uh, I'm going to find a charger somewhere up here. Um, it may not be a Tesla charger. It may just be somewhere that's convenient for me, but uh, uh, I'll pick somewhere on the way. I just want to really test the range and efficiency, and this is the perfect opportunity. So from here, let's go. Please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. The minus 20% has now dropped to minus 12 um, and we are averaging, if I just scroll across there, 198.8 watt hours per mile, which is good. Um, I think I might try and do it in one hit. Um, it's telling me to stay below 55% to reach the destination with 7%, which I'm not fussed about getting there with, with uh, seven, uh, because like I say, I can charge when I'm there. Um, I'm gonna have to stop because it's a six and a half hour journey and there's no way I can stomach that. Um, so I will stop somewhere, but um, I'm gonna try and do it without charging, see how it pans out. If it manages 366 miles, I'll be mighty impressed for sure. So, okay, I'll keep you updated. miles um, we've used 15.7 kilowatt hours we're averaging 217.5 watt hours per mile which is pretty good going uh, still saying minus 12 percent to get there but at the top it's saying stay below 55 miles an hour to arrive with five percent which i don't quite understand that's just maybe some kind of bug in the software uh, but all told everything's going well been driving for one hour and 14 minutes in total. Uh, we still have 300 miles to go, uh, so it is a real trek. Uh, but if my maths is correct, if I can keep that as close to five miles per kilowatt hour as possible, we should just get there. But let's see. managed to average some good speed uh, so far uh, but that's about to change because we're about to get on to the A1 uh, which is generally snarled up busy and the average speed will drop we've probably averaged about 60 miles an hour at the moment and we are on 214 watt hours per mile which is not bad at all but that number should go up now as we um, as we get on the A1 because it's generally much slower. And as predicted, uh, roadworks on the A1 are very slow going. If we look there, you can see the efficiency has come down to 208.1 watts per mile. It looks quite snarled up on the maps further ahead as well. So 
can't imagine this is going to be a quick drive, but uh, as I said, great for efficiency. You can also see this number here has dropped to eight percent, which is excellent. Hopefully, that will move into a positive number, and that will make me feel a lot happier. Just gone below 50% there, but we did leave with 96%, so we haven't quite used 50% of the battery yet. Uh, but we've covered 163.5 miles, and we've taken 2 hours and 43 minutes to do that, at an average of 215 watt hours per mile, which is pretty good. That number there, that's going up, that minus 11 number, which doesn't fill me with love. Um, so it's not the end of the world though if we have to stop and charge we stop and charge but I am really curious to see how far it goes in the real world um, the A1 has actually been pretty good it's normally much worse than what it is today um, and uh, yeah quite free flowing so I've been able to maintain 70 for most of the uh, most of the upward journey so far One thing that I have noticed driving in uh, sunshine is the reflection in the window of the chrome trim around the dashboard. I'm probably going to have to de-chrome that because, yeah, that's irritating to say the least. Um, so yeah, something is going to have to be done about that. Okay, folks, I've stopped at uh, Durham, Washington, uh, not to charge. Um, I've been driving now for three hours and three minutes than 185 miles um, so I need to stop and get a drink get something to eat so I'm just gonna run in have 10 minutes here and then we can crack on okay so I am back in the car now what I could have done is I could have charged on one of those six high power chargers over there uh, all six of them were free one car's just pulled in that um, Kia Nero there but no, that wouldn't be very sporting. So I've got myself a couple of sausage rolls, a chocolate donut, a flat white, and a bottle of water. Very healthy. So I'm gonna munch them, and then we'll get on the way. Okay, let's give you a little update. We are moving at a few miles an hour on the A1. We've done 214.1 miles. We've used 45 kilowatt hours and average 212 watt hours per mile which is quite good uh, we still have uh, another three hours and 159 miles and it's saying minus seven percent so from that perspective i think hmm, we're gonna fall short but i think we've probably got about another hundred and a bit miles left so this has got a usable 75 kilowatt hour pack we didn't leave with 100 we left with 96 um but uh, that should there in theory give me another 30 kilowatt hours and we're doing almost five miles per kilowatt hour. So five times 30, three, six, nine, 12, 15. So another 150, let's say 140 because it's not five miles, but let's say another 140 miles. That should give us 350, which is still short of the 367, I think it was. Um, so I probably am gonna have to stop and charge. I know there's a little bit tucked away on this, about three kilowatt hours, but we'll have to see. I don't think I'm feeling that brave and I don't wanna be sat on the side of the road with no charge. So uh, when I get a bit closer to uh, the zero, I'll, uh, I'll have a rethink. Looks like we've got um, a little bit of uh, an accident going on up there. So there's gonna be a diversion. That is gonna slow us down. More traffic ahead. Looking forward to that. Originally, I was going to get there for seven o'clock. Now I'm going to get there for quarter to eight. Oh, 
Okay, folks, so I have had to bail because it was still saying minus 12%. Uh, I've got nine miles left and 3%. Um, and my efficiency has been 213.8 watt hours per mile. And we've done 325 miles that you can see there. Now, interestingly, we had the 4% which we were missing. So what's well, 5%, 7.5, half of that, 3, 3.75. So we would have probably had another 3.75 kilowatt hours if we had added the 4% instead of leaving at 96 and leaving at 100. But more importantly, there's still another 5.5 kilowatt hours missing there. So that I think is tucked away after the zero. So I think realistically, probably 350 with this kind of efficiency would be would be doable, uh, pushing it right down to zero, uh, maybe more. Um, obviously we've had the aircon running, I've had the heater seats on at times and the cool seats on. So apparently five minutes to continue my trip, which is just astonishing really. Um, to travel the sort of distances that these cars can now um, and on the amount of energy I mean 70 kilowatt hours is about whew, seven litres of fuel although this has been charged mainly off the solar because we've had good weather recently um, this would have cost about four pound if we'd have charged it from the grid which is just completely and utterly outrageous you can see there we're charging at 234 kilowatts that'll drop off quite quickly but um yeah that'll give me plenty it's already up to seven percent so i sit here for 15 minutes and then um i'm gonna get gone that's incredible it says i'm ready to go i'm gonna sit a little bit longer i'm gonna run it up to 50 which will be about another five minutes i think maybe 10 still charging at 176 kilowatts it's added 18 kilowatt hours in that time uh, and then uh, that'll get me comfortably up to Lucas and then uh, I can get uh, plugged in overnight. It's probably worth me pointing out that um, we don't have the standard wheels on this um, we upgraded them I wasn't a fan of the standard rims so uh, that would definitely impact the efficiency um, but not that much um, I would thought it would have been worse but actually not that bad at all Okay, folks, I am going to leave it there. Uh, only a short video for you, um, just to show you uh, the range of these cars and what they can do and what they can do for the cheapness they can do it for. I and mean, again, if you've got solar panels and um, battery storage at home and things like that, well, you can do it for absolutely nothing. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon in another episode. So bye for now.